wait a minute. I'm sorry, but I lied about the gun. I came here as a gentleman to talk business. If you just, just please, think we can talk sensibly now? Or am I gonna have to listen to more of your bullshit, mister? Look, I told her I couldn't meet the notes by October. But he didn't want to listen to me. I don't want to listen to you then, Mr. Felcher. And you still owe me $27,650 with the interest. When does Mr. Green collect? I haven't got it. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Felcher. Right, look, don't give me a story, huh? Shut up! You owe that money to me now. And I don't care where you get it from. All right. I'll try and get him a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? That's an insult. It doesn't even cover the interest. I can't do any better than that. You're gonna have to. Because if you don't, I won't like it. You don't have to threaten me. I'm not threatening you. I just said that I wouldn't like it. No! You want your money collected? I don't want violence. If he doesn't pay, he doesn't pay. I don't want you breaking his arms or shooting him or whatever you people do. I do what I'm hired to do. You weren't hired to pull a gun. I was hired to collect money for you, Mr. Green. I don't care. I thought you might be able to frighten him into paying. I never said violence. You walk in there, pull a gun on him. I could go to jail. You! didn't do your job right. Now, if he doesn't pay, that's it. Give me back the notes. Go tell it to a tombstone. I'll speak to Mr. Ayadavi about this. You can speak to whoever you want. I get her on the phone. Mr. Green, it's Mr. Knight. I'm here now. No problem. Hey, it's all here. Mr. Felch wants to talk to you. He's got it? All right. Good. I understand. I understand you didn't give a shit what I had to go through, Herb. Yeah. He's got the money, Herb. Goodbye. No, I didn't have to give it all to you right away. Oh, I know. You should thank me. I made your job easy for you.
My hair looks close to the spot. I didn't miss too many spots today. Something laying on his nerve, that's all. When he wakes up, I want you to give him these. Okay. Huh. And I don't want him to do anything stupid, do you understand? Okay. I'll take care of this. Pills and everything. And shrunk. what? And what? You know what? I got my the other way. Help me with the other light, please. Didn't even put your slippers on. You know you're acting like a baby. All I need is a rattle and a crib, and I'll feel like a baby. Somebody shoot you. Why don't you ask them? Well, if you told me, maybe at least I'd sleep better. Your back is all bloody. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I hate you for it. sympathize with your situation. But my boys did what they were supposed to do. You got your money back. You got what you paid for. Bullshit. 
I paid you good money. You sent me a couple of amateurs from Bloomfield Avenue. Ernie, I can't get no mechanic for 10000 Not for two hits. Stop it, will you please? You can get 20 different guys for that kind of money. This is not Orchard Street, Bernie. I'm not shopping around for a suit of clothes. Spinoza, I've given you a lot of goddamn business. You've got a very short memory. <laughs> You're a bigger thief than me. But I'm telling you now, Bernie, you owe me on this one. And don't worry about it. Green and Volante will be taken care of. Mr. Clement? You call me Sam. All right. Hi, Mr. Green's secretary. He's ready for you now. Oh, fine. Have you been doing business with him long? Not for the last two or three years. Oh, I see. All his secretaries as pretty as you. I'm the finest one he's got. I can take it. <laughs> pretty girl, I love your hair. Well, thank you. I try never to go anywhere without it. You break his legs, what do you think he's gonna do? Sit on his ass? I don't understand you. Why do you leave yourself so wide open like this? Don't you know it's cheaper to kill you than to pay you? Don't worry, I take good care of myself. Maybe you should just walk away for a while and go work on that supermarket. I want you to stay away from Felch. I'll take care of this. Some help? What the hell you got in your pocket? Grenades? It's my teeth. And you keep in your pocket? Yeah. Let's get a little class. Buy a hostel like everybody else. the bag, see? Once he gets that, he's out in a minute. Nobody else watches him? Look for yourself. This is easy, tell him. Not 
That's his car, right? The black one. Yeah. Good. What'd you knock for? Well, I don't know if you're busy or what. <gasps> Whose bag is that? It's mine. Hey, Joey, look at these. It's not your bag, you bacala. It's nice, huh? Terrific, beautiful. Trying to get us locked up? All of a sudden, we're bag thieves? Joe, you know, there's a lot of girls downstairs. They got a lounge. I, I think there's hookers in this hotel. You don't want to talk about the bag anymore? Huh? Want to talk about girls? All right, we'll talk about girls. Maybe we'll get laid. Maybe we'll get laid. I think there's hookers. I don't know. They're... There's definitely hookers. Yeah? Call room service. They get you anything you want. Yeah. Give me one, too. Service doesn't have hookers. Get some booze, will you please? You you call Joey. You, you're good at that. That's it. Get some some booze. Serge, get rid of that bag. That's room service, please. Room service. It's eleven fourteen. Yeah, I like some drinks sent up, please. Scotch and water, and uh, what do you want, Serge? Dram Bowie. And a Dram Bowie, please. Yes, thank you. What's this? It's my piece. It's your piece. I got a holster, too. Yes. I had it adjusted. Gee, it's beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. Got any landmines? I could probably get some. Good, we might have to blow up a block or something. We're not going to commit mass murder, you know that, don't you? I'm not going to commit mass murder. This thing goes through six people. 
Put this away. It's not loaded. I don't care. I don't want to see it, ever. You're rid of it. songs of Stephen Foster have been lost in the sands of time. Is that kidding? Right now, I'd like to bring back one of those songs, if I may. And it sounds something like this. Give me those peanuts. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Wait well, till five, I get him on the first shot. Start right and do drops of waiting for me. You missed. Missed? Where were you looking? Sounds of the rude world heard in the day. Blow by the moonlight, have all passed away. Stop with the friggin' peanuts. Oh, beautiful dreamer, queen of my soul. Bliss while I woo thee with soft melody. That does <laughs> in all my life. I've had enough of this. He's talented. He's talented. He's talented. I think so. Oh, wait, you got him in the head now. He's asleep. Try Weight Watchers. <laughs> Where are you going? Where am I going? Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? Did you see what's going on here? Neil, just take it easy. Did you, did you see what those animals are doing with the peanuts? What are these clowns talking about? I think he's talking about me. Neil, let me handle it. Look, we got paying customers here. Take it I easy. I don't care about please. them. I don't care about them. Neil, would you let me take care of it, please? I'll do it right now, okay? Okay, I'll wait Come for on. you. Wait All right. For me. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, guys, come on. Huh? Lay off him, will you? I appreciate it. He's a nice guy. Hey, yeah, we don't mean nothing. The little fat one there, that's, he's the instigator. He's throwing all the peanuts at me. Yeah. Anyway, he's a nice him. guy. I appreciate it very much if you I do that. I apologize. We're just looking to have some enjoyment, that's all. Oh. I think he's very talented. Hey, Neil, come on in. Everything is all right. I got them all taken care of. These guys are all right. They're okay. Come on. I'll do this for you, Danny, and only for you. You know that. Let me buy you a drink. Only if we can have Yeah. yeah. Right, get up, yeah. Give Neil a drink okay. with us, too, all right? Okay, fine. He's yeah, sleeping yeah. with the piano player. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave him alone. I got a cousin like that. Cousin is the only one in your family is like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let him play. Let him play. No, no, I like to eat him with this whole bowl of peanuts. Gone are the days of life. Oh, yes. Can't believe the country now. You he deserves it now. This guy, forget about it. They're starting with the friggin' peanuts again. Yeah. Oh, tell the boss now. <laughs> Is it? Five after nine. All right. He's coming out any minute. Whew. I don't. What's the matter? What do you eat, garbage? I don't believe you. We eat the same things. I'll get the defroster. Oh, what the defroster? Come on, will you squid it? You're gonna be out any minute now.
All right, here he comes now. your girl. It's pretty funny, eh? You're taking a shit on my girl. Why not? Everybody else does. All right, wise guy, I'm going downstairs for coffee. You All want right. Serge to come meet me down there? Yeah, we'll meet you down there. All right. Serge, I'll see you. See you in a while. I wouldn't play with the money too long, you? Hey, Joey. We got 40,000, right? I get one-third. Right. Right? All right, one-third. So what is it? How much do I get? One-third less Anthony's 10%. Oh, yeah, 10% for Anthony. So that's... Uh, the 10%... Does that come off the 40... The 40,000, or... Or do we split the 40,000, then he takes the 10% off, like, what, of my one-third? Maybe we ought to get H&R Block to figure it out for you. We don't have to pay tax on this. I know we don't have to pay tax. Not a little long. I want to talk to you anyway. What's the matter? It doesn't matter. I just want to talk to you. We didn't talk in a long time. We've been friends a long time, right? And I always treated you like my kid brother, even though you're older than me. You always did me a lot of favors. Took care of me. I took care of you. We're like brothers. I mean, I don't have a brother and you don't have a brother. I got a sister. I know you have a sister. You met her. I know Carmella. Don't change the subject on me. I'm talking to you. I mean, you did me a lot of favors, Serge. And I always told you I would watch out for you. And this is just the beginning. We made a lot of money. We're going to make a lot more money. We're going to be staying in nice places like this all the time. We're going to be with different people. I'm going to be dressing different, acting different. The best for us. Right. That's why I want you to do me a favor. 
Name it. Promise? Don't wear sneakers anymore. 